Hey, Kevin, what are you laughing about? <laughs> the things that go on behind the camera when it's not turned on, really. I did a, a video a while back about the things that can go wrong with TIG welding. And I got a lot of nice responses from it. And I thought, well, okay, let's look at MIG welding. Let's talk about some of the little boo-boos that you can make there. One of the biggest problems that I seem to continually have, <laughs> you think I'll learn eventually, is I took my tips for my MIG welder and they all came in a bag, the three different sizes, the 024s, the 030s, the 035s. Well, I took them all out of that little plastic bag that was just falling apart, put them all in a plastic bin, and guess what? They were still all mixed up. So if, you're, if you find yourself welding, or trying to weld, and it's skipping and missing, and, and you know, it's just giving you fits, make sure you got the right size tip to go with your wire. It makes a whole world of difference in the darn thing. So another thing that I've run into, and uh, I've even been taking the task, thank you very much, on, on my videos, uh, if you're going to run flux core, Go ahead and leave your nozzle on there. Don't take it off because the little gas holes that are in the end of your gun can get plugged up with spatter. Even though you're using flux core, just plug those up. And then the next time you go to use solid core with gas in it, your holes are all plugged up and you're not going to get any gas out. So just run flux core, that's fine. But go ahead and leave your nozzle on there and, you know, use a little little dip of anti batter gel and that helps keep things clean up inside there for when you want to switch back to the solid core of gas. And I think the one that really just torques me off sometimes is when you get started in a project, you're, you know, just getting into it, you're having fun, you're hot and heavy, you're just making sparks and you run out of wire. Check your wire, you know, before you start a project. Just peek inside, see how much is on the spool. That way you know you've got enough to do the job you need. Nothing like running out right in the middle of the job. You know, it just ruins everything. What happens? It just quits feeding? It just runs out. It just quits feeding. You know, all you, all you have is that little tip sticking out of the end of the gun. You pull the trigger, but nothing happens. And I know something I'm really guilty of is when I change wire sizes. You know, I'll go from 030 down to 024 uh, but quite often change your dependent on which project I'm working on, is I forget the darn tension on the drive roller. I'll leave it, you know, turned all the way up or turned all the way down, depending on what I had it set to last. And then, boy, you get one little mishap at the end of the gun. You, you know, the wire gets caught, the wire, you know, the arc doesn't start, whatever, and it's still feeding over here. you got a rat's nest. you got to come fix it. You know, if you're going to change wire sizes, change your drive roller tension. You know, put it where it's supposed to be for that size wire, for that length of cable. And probably my biggest fault, I mean, my biggest hang-up, boo-boo, whatever you want to call it, I'll be sitting here putting something together, you know, fabricating something, cutting, bending, shaping, whatever. It's time to tack it. It's time to weld it. Throw my helmet on. You know, I'll have my leathers on. I'll have to throw my jacket on. I won't change my darn gloves because I get used to wearing the work gloves and I won't bother to go to the MIG glove, you know, or stick glove, and the darn sparks just go right through the fabric. You know, burn up the glove, burn up you. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. So, you know, stop. Take a few minutes, plan your next move, see what you're doing. Put on the right kind of safety gear, you know, and then get on with what you're trying to get done. Speaking of which, I'm going to go back to what I was going to get done. <laughs> we'll see you next time.